Hello, welcome to the City of Healing, where the city resides within. Peace and blessings, everyone. This is Sanat Natura Angela, and it's a beautiful Sunday. I say that all the time, of course. But I wanted to come forth and talk about one of my favorite topics, which is the power of the mind. And of course, we as a, a universe who are coming together universally, finally, with this concept about the power of the mind and more and more people are talking about it and uh, specifically with uh, metaphysics and synchronicities and speaking of synchronicities as I mentioned before I have a journal and I work right in it every day and sometimes I title you know uh, my my journals like I do my videos and uh, this particular journal entry was I think it was Tuesday and sometimes my journal entries, what I write about, I talk about sometimes. And sometimes it's basically impromptu. And so this particular title was Beautiful Mind, Dream Awake. And it was so many things I said in it. And basically I want to share some of those things today. But the funny thing is when I decided to talk about that this morning, um, the thing that really astonished me is that turned on my YouTube channel, not my YouTube channel, but my phone to YouTube. And one of my first videos that showed up was from Ralph Smart, which was about the power, the metaphysics of the mind and manifesting. And that's not exactly what I'm gonna talk about, but some of the things that he said were very key. And you'll see that um, it was some of what he was talking about. And my point is the synchronicity this vibration of the power of you know the universal mind and thinking to talk about that today is something else and it's not the first time that has happened with you know uh, Ralph smart that he was talking about something one day and I made a video about it and both of us made a video about the same thing I was like <laughs> you know but it's funny even though I'm not gonna say the same things he said but the same concept the same theme is about it's the same and we even though we uh, have very brilliant thinkers um, people that talk about metaphysics and the power of the mind so many like dr. Delbert Blair uh, dr. Phil Valentine dr. Bruce Lipton dr. Um, Greg Braden Dr. Joe Despazio, there's just so, so many. Uh, you really can't say them all. And particularly, I wanna say when we're memorizing all of this science and what everybody else is saying, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, I don't agree with everything that one person says. I take from it what I can uh, resonate with. And uh, some of that, we need to, I believe, learn how to come up with our own frame of mind, like formulas and science. It's funny because even I know this as a child that, you know, uh, you can have a particular thought about something and it not necessarily be uh, the truth. But we as a nation have come up with all of these different philosophies, science. Uh, organic chemistry and the thing about it is that one person because the universe didn't give it to you the universe don't work in uh, the the logic of saying equations and number well numbers yes but specific equations about how the things work we don't feel like that or we don't see that but we have developed a language and put it in a book and sold it and we have fallen for it and which indeed uh, you know these are people certain people came up with a perception they use their perception and it made sense and resonated and that's why it's a science that's why it's an equation etc etc uh, when I was younger I wanted to be a doctor and a particular doctor I wanted to be I wanted to be a surgeon and I wanted to be a brain surgeon and the funny thing is I didn't imagine being a surgeon having a scalpel or chisel and a hammer 
my thinking was that you can help people change their mind and do brain surgery that way and it's amazing that we as a people are coming together when eventually uh, the concept of learning in books and equations is not going to be based on that it's all going to be about energy healing you know about us feeling and healing beyond what we can see and hear and feel um, physically but actually feel it metaphysically and heal ourselves and other people too uh, we have some ways to go about that because we're not quite there but I like I'm a person I don't think matter of factly this is emphatically the only way to do it I don't see it like that I'm a very broad thinker and I like the fact when you listen I haven't studied him that much or got any of his books but I've seen a couple of videos I like the way that he thinks in that there's no one thing just saying that this is absolutely the way to do things but I like that Bruce Lipton is bringing the nation towards thinking you know ancient Egyptian ancient Chinese medicine is healing with the mind and saying manifestically this is the way we heal ourselves with the power you know of the mind and this is how we change our lives and our future and how we manifest is by the power of the mind and um, a very important concept and some of the things that I agree with Dr. Bruce Lipton and listening to some of his works is that um, indeed uh, the first seven years of a child's life is the most impressionable uh, it helps make up the subconscious mind which is really the conscious mind because you know it's how we play out life you know the conscious mind is just the creative mind it's just basically who we are physically you know it's very um, uh, materialistic it's not uh, totally only five percent basically of who we really are a subconscious mind is you know how we were taught you know how we heal ourselves all of that you know is in our subconscious mind which is the true mind and um, people say that we're conscious but are we really conscious or should we be more subconscious beyond that and maybe we should be going beyond the five percent you know it's gonna take a while to get there but I thought it was very important you know how he lists the ways to basically change the subconscious mind in a couple of ways that I resonated with is by you know hypnosis and repetition and hypnosis is basically really easy to do it's sort of like meditation and basically if you um, me myself how you change your subconscious mind how you change your life basically is between two times specifically of the day when you're going to sleep and when you're waking up uh, me myself I basically speak gratitude you know just before I'm going to sleep thanking thanking for everything about my life about my family about my health just thankful until I just fall asleep and when I wake up I'm doing the same thing that's how you basically uh, change the mind uh, by that type of hypnosis and also um, repetition you know doing it overcoming having a routine about um, yourself and telling yourself you just can't speak positive affirmations because it's like uh, shooting smoke in the air is just evaporating and it's nothing that's really coming of it um, you know that's you know on a basic level you know about smoke but anyway I thought that was very powerful about him mentioning that because before I even seen that video some time ago I was thinking and doing those types of things you know and the power of repetition and just doing these things is so profoundly effective and important for all humans to learn to do because as I mentioned that is the, the progress of the universe in which we are going and I think it's a very um, beautiful thing um, to heal your subconscious mind and I talk to you know young people quite often and we are either two things victims 
or we are conquerors and you have to be a conqueror you can't stay in the victim and blame others for what's going on in your life now you know because we have that power the power of the mind is um, beyond even my physical brain this what I dress today is just creative conscious mind and there's so much more just so much more and um, I'm looking forward to sharing more with you all I'm not gonna make this a very long video I can go on and on and on I just want to say beautiful mind dream awake that that specific um, tip of how to heal your subconscious mind and manifest is key anyway thanks for visiting the city and I hope you all have a beautiful Sunday take care